Hello folks and welcome to this, a very special edition of Paddock Pass. As you can see, there's no pit lane behind me and as you can hear, no roar of engines and that's because they've set me free from the F1 paddock to escape here to the countryside and to the headquarters of Formula One's newest team. Now it's not every day we get to pull back the curtain and look behind the scenes at an F1 team, rarer still that we get to talk not only to the team owner, but also the team's lead driver. But what makes this place extra special is that the owner and lead driver are one and the same person. Now, it's been an interesting 12 months, and we all know a number of the regulation changes which were due to come into effect this year have been delayed until next. Some, though, are still seeing the light of day, amongst them the all-important budget cap, which gives some of the smaller teams, a little further down the order, potentially, the opportunity to compete with the bigger teams. Good for them, but great for us as viewers. But what does our new team owner think about these new rules? Do they see them as a challenge, a hurdle that needs to be overcome? Perhaps they see them as an opportunity to disrupt the status quo, a chance to come out swinging and to carve their name into Formula One history. Well, I had the opportunity to ask them these very questions just earlier today. And here's what they had to say. Well, first of all, thanks so much for inviting us here today. It's been wonderful to see behind the scenes. Uh, as you might expect, I've got about a million questions, so let's jump straight in. It's been a long time since we last saw a team owner take their own car onto the track, and the sport's changed enormously. In let's talk about your teammate. Now, it's clear they're excited to have signed with you, but tell me, what is it that you think they bring to the team? So you've obviously been putting a lot of work into the car. I know it's early days, but how do you expect it to feel out there? Most of the other teams can boast years of experience in Formula One. Where do you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains you need to put you within reach of the other cars? Ultimately, your success this season is going to come down to whether you can take positions from the other drivers. What is it about your car that's going to give you that edge in those battles? And finally, with so many specialist departments working together here at your headquarters, and with such an important deadline coming up, who's getting that coveted teacher's gold star? Which group do you feel the most proud of right now. Well, thank you so much for your time. I've uh, been wonderful to get an insight from you and of course to see around the headquarters. Thank you for today, really appreciate it. And thank you all at home for watching as well. We'll see you very soon. <laughs> 